I don't feel free when my space becomes cluttered. My philosophy when I organize my stuff is to keep them off the floors and tables and onto shelves and walls. To organize quickly, I practice wabi-sabi, which roughly translates as an appreciation of the transient and the imperfect. This belief enables me to work decisively and not overthink too much. My space can quickly become messy if I don't pay attention. On top of using shelves and cabinets to file away my stuff, I can quickly free up even more space with this flexible hardware. Nails symbolized wabi-sabi in my life. It's one of my favorite tools and the cheapest hardware in any hardware store. Without nails, our roofs will fly away. Windows and doors will not stay. And all the wood framing will fall apart. Houses were built with all kinds of nails. So it's holding our lives together. But for me, it's so much more than that. This video is not about different kinds of nails and their original intended use, such as in framing, roofing, concrete, and cabinetry. I also use them in picture frames, boxes, and my snack basket. It's about appreciating its design, using it creatively when organizing, and not worrying about the holes they left behind. And healthy assortment of different sized nails deserves a place in everyone's toolbox. I'm a recovering perfectionist, and I practice wabi-sabi these days. If you want to know more about it in detail, here's an informative video from the School of Life. It explains wabi-sabi very well. The dictionary says it's a worldview centered on the acceptance of transience and imperfection. The aesthetic of wabi-sabi is described as one of appreciating beauty that is imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete in nature. Why am I telling you this, you might ask? Sometimes we might be, well, I was, afraid to make changes to our physical space, worrying about putting holes in the walls or cabinets and messing up the paint. This mentality can stop us from bringing out the space full potential and utilizing it fully. It's a fear-based way of thinking afraid of changes and mistakes. Don't get me wrong, I don't mean a pristine clean wall is not a good thing. It's just that I'm no longer afraid to make holes, marks, and stain on the walls. In my younger years, I would get upset when my brand new floor got scratched. But now my floor is so scratched and dented that it has transformed into a texture like old leather. It marks time. It reminds me that I have lived here for 20 years, and how many more 20 years will I have left? I treasure the depth of it. It's like an archive of all the events that happened here. So now if I want to hang anything on the wall, I do it without hesitation often using a hammer and a nail. And if my mark is a bit off, I pull it out and rehammer until I'm satisfied. I used to spend hours studying everything in the hardware store, and I gained a lot of knowledge just by looking. But it also made me more insecure and paranoid. Huh? Because 
There are so many products, tools, and latest technology that I don't know about. I feel I could never catch up. Oh. And the anxiety caused by the fear of missing out did not feel good. Shopping these days for anything can be exhausting in the stores or online. In this consumeristic world, we are all cursed with too many choices. Although it costs so little compared to screws and other hardware, it packs a punch in its performance. I love its simplicity and flexibility. There are many ways to use a nail besides using it as a nail. And yes, there are many different kinds to choose from. It's the most affordable hardware you can buy to keep some in your toolbox. Nobody can prove when or who invented the nail. Chances are the evidence had long been rotten away. As the first nail was likely made out of wood. Nails today are made out of wires, rolled, cut, and punched. But this form is by no accident. The edges on the pointy ends are designed to cut through wood fibers, like a chisel. This pyramid-shaped chisel cuts through the wood fibers while being driven down. The compressed fibers also makes rooms for the nail, making it easier to hammer down. It's similar to making a pilot hole before screwing a screw. Thanks to this ingenious design, it combines both steps into one. If the pointed end is a cone shape, the nail will act as a wedge instead of a chisel, thus splitting the wood fibers rather than cutting. The blunted end is to help the hammer hit it better, providing holding power once nailed down. With some creativity, it can be fantastic for organizing stuff and keeping things tidy and space efficient. Putting it in the right place can do wonders for your life and all you need is a hammer. It's an excellent tool for freeing up space by getting stuff off the existing horizontal planes, such as tables, shelves, and floors. It works like magic in my kitchen. From big heavy pots, cutting boards, to tiny little brushes. I found a perfect nail for it. And all my items are within sight and reach. It's perfect for keeping my sewing station neat. Doesn't the sight of this makes you want to sew? This makes you want to fish? I did a video about my fishing kayak. If you have yet to see it, here's the link. Nails are handy, and I keep them fluid, moving them around to adapt. It keeps many little gadgets and tools organized. If I always see my stuff, it will remind me of what I have, otherwise I'm sure to forget. And knowing what I have makes work more enjoyable. In my garage, wrenches are displayed according to size and type. Not only does it look cool, I get to grab the right one each time. And now I never have to deal with tangled chains, which is irritating. Separating each chain after sharpening also keeps the edges from nicking each other. The bottom line is, if it can be hung with a nail, I will try to hang it. We all have an inner world, like our emotions and thoughts, but we also live in a 3D physical world. These two worlds are connected. The outside can influence the inside, and the inside has the power 
to change the outside. So it's a positive cycle. When we invest the time to change our physical space, we also change our inner space and vice versa. Life is too short to worry about some small holes in the walls. Let wabi-sabi into your heart and start painting your life one nail at a time. If you like this video and think I nailed it, show me some love, hammer the like button, and let me know in the comment section.